Hello friends, today we will talk about one of the most important architecture of convolution neural network, LANET. It was developed by Yan Lakun in 1998 from MNIST dataset. So in this video we will talk about how the architecture was built, how the prediction was made and how you can deploy it on your own model. Welcome to the first part. In this part, we will see how all of the calculations was made and how we get 28 cross 28 matrix and so on. So first we have input of 32 cross 32 image. Then we apply six convolutions of five cross five kernel size into this input image. So we have previous input as 32 then we apply 6 convolutions of kernel size equals to 5 cross 5 with stride equals to 1 and padding equals to 0 we don't use padding here so we put padding as 0 so the formula for current input is x minus z upon stride plus 1 plus padding into 2. We don't use padding here so we don't need this part. So by putting all of the values in this formula we will get 32 minus 5 upon 1 plus 1. So we will get 27 plus 1 which is equals to 28 cross 28 matrix. By this we will get our first current input. Then we apply 6 average pooling of size 2 cross 2 with stride equals to 2. So here are the calculation. We have previous input as 28 cross 28 with kernel size of 2 cross 2 and stride equals to 2 with padding equals to 0. So by putting all of this in the for formula, we will get the current input. So it will be 28 minus current input upon stride plus 1. So we will get 14 as our current input. Similarly, we will get here and here. Then we have fully connected flattened layer which, which will convert our 2D matrix into an 1D array of 120 size. Then we have fully connected dense layer with the activation function of 10H. We could use ReLU here but ReLU was not present back then. So we will use 10H here. Then we have a softmax layer which is our output layer. You can also say it it was a prediction layer. We use soft, softmax here, which can contain all of the possibilities of the classes. In our case, it contains number 0 to 9. When we do the prediction, it will classify one of these class as output. So it is all for this part. In the next part, we will see the 3D architecture of LANET and how the prediction was made. This is tensorflow.js. It will show the 3D architecture of LANET model, how the prediction was made and how each convolutions was applied. So if we write input as 7, 
we can see it is classifying as 7. So we can see that in the 3D architecture how each convolution was made. Like we have 6 cross 6 matrix here and 16 cross 16 matrix as second convolution. We can see how the convolutions were made and it is collecting all of the features in one by one in separate matrices. Then we apply average pooling from that matrix. We can say from previous convolutions. Then we do the convolution again. Then we apply the average pooling again. Here you can see it is the flattening layer which is converting all of the two dimensional matrices into 1D array. Then these are the fully connected layers and here are the prediction classes which, which contain all of the possible classes. Here in our case it contains number from 0 to 9. So you can see it is clearly selecting number 7 as, as output and we can see our prediction as 7. We can try another, another number like 2 and yes it is classifying it as 2. And the next part we will see how you can deploy it on your own model. So here you can see we imported all of the libraries and we separated train and test images and added our first layer which is 6 convolution of size 5 cross 5 and we have uses, uses activation of 10h as we have talked earlier. Then we apply average pooling of size 2 cross 2. Then similarly we have applied our other two layers. Then we have applied our flattening layer which will flatten our 2D matrix into 1D array. Then we have applied fully connected layers of activation 10H and lastly we applied a softmax function which will classify our output images. Here you can see that we have used optimizer as SGD. We can also use Adam but Adam was not developed back then. So we use HZD classifier. Then we fit our model and predict the result and accuracy. Here you can see the result. We can also modify it with the current activation function and optimizers. Like we can use optimizer as Adam and activation function as ReLU which is more better than the previous one. So here you can see the result of the new architecture of Lanet model. And we can compare both of the outputs. It was not much of the difference but the new one was little better. So that is it for today video. Hope you like it. We will meet in next video. Thank you.